All right, guys, Boone Down South here. So today, what I've got for you is a doe hunt. It's late November after Thanksgiving. We got too many does out here, decided to start hunting some does. So it was kind of an exciting morning, and I was trying to keep the camera on them, so I hope it's all on film, but trying to keep the camera on them. They did a complete circle around me and everything, but finally got, they, they almost they spooked at the last second. I was making the last camera adjustment. Something saw it, and they jumped, and I had, I'm like, oh, I better shoot this one right now. So I did number eight deer with this wicked ridge m370 so this has been just a fantastic crossbow for me shot one i guess two weeks ago a buck an eight point and then just got this doe this morning so same arrow different broadhead put new blades on it but yeah so stay tuned and hope you enjoy the video Okay guys, uh, it's pretty cold this morning, it's 36 degrees, it's getting in the end of November. Haven't taken any does here. One spot in my water hole, the oak, the oak trees are dropping. Uh, a lot of red oak acorns on the ground and uh, there's does all over the place. So the challenge is gonna be, it's gonna be up close. There's gonna be like six or eight does coming in is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna try to take the fattest one. So I've gotta get rid of some of these does. If, hey, if a nice buck shows up, hey, that'd be great. But uh, I just haven't seen any good bucks on my property at all this year. I mean, none whatsoever, and it's pretty rare, but uh, with that's like six cameras running, uh, moving places on food plots, on scrapes, on everything, they just just don't have any big bucks this year, or even decent bucks. So, yeah, going to go take some does, and and uh, hopefully we'll see how this goes this morning. So, But I think it's going to be a little crazy. It's going to be tough not to get busted, and like that like was what I'm expecting. So hang in there. Yeah, so pretty much right down here, there's just red oak acorns all scattered throughout the floor here from these reds. Water troughs over here. And uh, this morning, I started coming through these woods right here and I had my camera set where it was pretty much right here to just pass where that tree's at over there, where the, where the dead tree's falling there. And I'm not sure if they got on camera or not because they all came in. Well, the first four or five of them came in right here through these branches right here. And there were more coming in from out that direction still. Some of them went that way. There was probably seven or eight of them. And this one was maybe 15 yards right up here. And I don't know what happened, but uh, she never looked at me. I didn't make any noise, anything like that. All of a sudden, she just starts popping her head up and starts stomping the ground. And 
I'm like, man, oh man. And, and just kind of looking that direction over here. And I don't know what's going on, but man, she wouldn't come an extra five feet. And she'd turn around and they all slowly started to scatter back around and they circled over here around to my left. And a couple of seconds, you know, they, they finally watched them go out of sight there. And that started smelling like cigarette smoke. And I'm like, what the heck? So I don't know if it was my neighbor on the property and the, and the wind just carried it over here and that's what she was smelling because that's the direction she was looking at. She never looked at me. Uh, I don't know, but I started smelling cigarettes and it was really weird from where I'm at because I'm a good distance away from anything. That's just the way it goes. I knew it was going to be tough with all these does coming in. Too many eyes. You know, eight does, 16 eyes looking all around. So anyway, we'll try it again. All right, heading out again today. It's a little bit warmer this morning. It's like low 40s. Trying to get one of these does. I got so many of them here, but I got busted the other morning and then we got Thanksgiving, so I didn't get out here. Yes, it was pouring rain, so I didn't come out here, but we're going to try it again tonight. Again, it's like eight does going to come in and we'll see what happens. There's a lot of eyes to look at you, so I don't have a lot of cover now because the leaves are all down and stuff. So anyway, we'll see what I can do. So hopefully I can connect tonight on, or this morning rather, on a good dose. So we'll see.
So yeah, initially, I can see the deer way down through. There's a road bed that comes through here. And I saw just two of them is all I saw. And they were kind of flitting around a little bit down there. And I thought maybe it was a buck on a doe. They kind of ran back that way. A little bit later, I saw some come back. And I bleated a few times, but I, I thought maybe they'd come through here. But I finally saw walk up there walking on the roadbed. There's a roadbed that goes up into this corner of the field up here. And I bleated a couple of times, and all of a sudden they all came through this thick stuff in front of me. And they went right up here, and I've got a honey locust tree on the edge over here that drops some seed pods, and they eat those things. And that's where they were going earlier in the year. And they started eating on the seed pods, and then instantly they just all come right in here because there's a lot of um, acorns on the ground in here and these red oaks. And they just all come in. And I was going to try to pick out the biggest doe. I'm trying to keep the camera moving and keeping on them, but I had, I don't know if it was five or six. I can't, I didn't count them. And, uh, and when I saw him move the camera, and so, uh, I figured I better take my shot at the one that was standing right there. Uh, I had, a, you know, it's, geez, it's, I don't know, 10, 12 yards maybe tops from where I'm at. So it looked like it was, a, it was a good hit. So they all ran off, and one of them stood over here for a while, and then she finally ran off. And so I'm going to give it a little bit and get down and look for my bolt. I feel like that was a good shot. Need to, been needing to take some does out of here, so hopefully uh, we'll get a track down here shortly. Okay, I'm on the ground here. Just see where she was standing. Again, they're just walking right through here and just, boom, just come right out. She's standing somewhere right around in here. find my bolt There's some blood here oh there's the bolt right there okay uh, here we go I've got blood on it right here oh uh, yeah it looks like that it's good that's good Alright, and it's all sticky from the blood on her. Yep. I'm gonna leave this right here. Wipe some blood off here. So I feel like uh that's pretty good. So uh there's some blood right there. Yeah. So I'm thinking we should have a decent blood trail here. Yeah, there's some blood. We're just gonna work our way over to her here. I doubt she's gone too far. She's starting to bleed pretty good. That should have been a really good solid hit right there. Blood down here. She was right there. Here's where I think she went there.
tree even up here. So she's she's pumping pretty good because it's splattering on the tree right there. Oh yeah, it's she's spraying blood pretty good here. to this tree. It's just a really good blood trail. I expect her to be not too much farther up here. So this is the road bed that they were coming up. So my tree stands right back over there. And I can see down this kind of road comes around like this. It comes up to here. And they've literally just walked right up this road bed. Let's keep looking for her. There she is. I see her now. That's his blood here. Look in front, there's a whole bunch of blood over here. Just a flower right there. Look at this. There's blood everywhere. Smacked against the tree. Right here. Look at this blood everywhere. Good night. Good night, lady. 
Yeah, she just saw it. I didn't hear this, but dude, Mike, would you look at this? Look at that, there she is. All right. That's a nice sized doe right there. Look at that exit wound right there with the rage. Definitely excellent shot, I think, right through the heart there. So, yeah, awesome, awesome. This is great, this is great. So, thank you, Lord. Um, I'm sure she expired really quick. We're probably only, I don't know, maybe 60 yards from the tree stand. And so, uh, yeah, got one of the nicer, bigger does over here on the property. Need to take him out. I'm going to get the sled and get this thing packed up. But, uh, yeah, man, this is, this is great. Thank you, Lord. Good, clean kill. You can't ask for more than that right there. Easy tracking job. Fantastic.